this at Graft. I'm here with Graft on Doors uh, LC and GraftOnDoors.com, and we're out. He's been in a little bayou uh, along the Grand River, one of my favorite places to fish, and uh, we're gonna give it a go. It's been a while since I've been out here, so I'm anticipating some catfish action, and uh, maybe we'll see some walleye. Time to get to work. All right. Well, the first uh, bait that I'm gonna use is this half crawler attached. I've got like a, I don't know, three and a half, four foot leader. It has to be at least three feet um, in the state of Michigan. And uh, got a swivel here and this um, pyramid weight. It's kind of tangled up right now. You're going to have to fix that. Um, but yeah, that's going to be the first thing I'm going to use. And then I think I'm going to run another line actually with the same sort of setup. And uh, I think that's basically what I'm going to be using tonight. Maybe some lures. We'll see. Try this for about half an hour before it gets dark around the sunset, which you know isn't terribly far away. Uh, we'll maybe run some lures. Just had a little bit of a nibble. Um, some kai grease come through here, so I wasn't in land. And I uh, wasn't able to repeat my point, so I kind of had to start again. Hopefully, I can get some cut bait, a small bluegill or a uh, white bass, and then use this cut bait for some bigger uh, uh, flathead. Just lost. What would have been a nice little blue gutter way fast for cut me. Managed to pull my worm. Uh, so put the worm back on. Throw the same place. Got a little 
notch in on line two. I feel like I'm just <laughs> eating bluegill.
inside this one too. I do have some spawn. I am going to throw some spawn up there. Didn't leave my worm that time. I thought for sure. Okay. That one, I don't even know on these guys. They've been just little white bass out here. Which wanna be great if you can cut bait, but I don't know Got spawn and crawler. Let's see. Try again with this little bit of worm. Nothing yet. So I had put a spawn bag on what in the end of one of my lines um, for a while there, but that wasn't yielding anything. So now I'm back to uh, two crawlers, drifting two crawlers, and uh, yeah, now that the sun's gone down, I'm really hoping uh, we get some action.
Alright. Just a small sheet then. I have another sheet on me. That one. This little fella might be close to keeping. But I'm gonna let him out. Let him go. It's not quite big enough. For me to get too much meat off of. Alrighty. Right, well, we'll see. It's a flathead catfish here. I haven't decided what we're gonna do here. So. Well, he's 12 inches on the dot, so we're just going to throw him back. There you go. All right. Well, the fish are getting better quality. Well, it's getting pretty dark now. I actually just caught like a, it's probably like an 8 inch channel cat as well. Um, so fishing seems to be picking up, although right now I haven't had a hit in a few minutes. Um, so I don't know how many more videos though I'm going to be able to get just because it's starting to get a little bit dark down here. Um, I'll be fishing for about 30 more minutes until about 10 o'clock or so that's when this uh, area closes. And so hopefully I can get a nice fish. Uh, if I catch something I'll definitely try to get a video but I'll get uh, pictures of it at least. So 